It's awards season, and this week I review two Oscar contenders, but only one of them is award worthy. It's not how the story ends, but rather the place where it begins. Can you put his shoes? Do you think me and that girl have a future? Well, why the heck not? You know, she's a Catholic. Belfast is quickly becoming a front runner for Best Picture. The film is based on director writer Kenneth Branagh's personal experience as a nine year old boy in Northern Ireland whose life is turned upside down when his friendly neighborhood becomes grounds for violent riots brought on by Protestants looking to oust the Catholics that live there. Daddy! We're looking to cleanse the community. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in the street. You touch my family and I'll kill you. Though the film is being highly praised, I'm sad to say I failed to connect with this story. The puzzle pieces are there, but they don't seem to be the right fit. The tone is inconsistent, bouncing between dark and serious to almost romantic comedy vibes. The movie never finds its footing, which is disappointing for the extremely talented cast. Newcomer Jude Hill plays Buddy, aka a young Branagh, and this kid is incredibly charming. He is the shining star in a dim film. Another standout is Buddy's mom, played by Katrina Balfey. If there is anyone to connect to in this movie, it's her, as she plays a heroic mom giving her all to protect and raise her children. Truly the entire cast, including Jamie Dornan, Judy Dench, and Syrian Hines are great. Religion, that's a problem. Then why are you sending us to church? Because your granny would kill me if I didn't. Well, not dead, back here. <laughs> How could I leave Belfast? Everybody likes them and everybody looks after them. Belfast will still be here when you get back. Will you? I'm going nowhere you won't find me. The problem is the cast was never able to dig too deep. Belfast has a lot of almost moments. The storylines are surface level and at times confusing. The one thing made clear was Branagh's love for cinema. The only scenes shown in color are the movies the characters watch. It is nice to see the theater was a happy escape for the family during rough times. Belfast may not have clicked with me, but I'm clearly in the minority. There are still some bright spots in the film that may make it worth the watch. I encourage audiences to be their own critic on this one. I want you. You know who you are. I'm, wherever you go, and whatever you become, that'll always be the truth. King Richard may end up being my favorite film of the year. It surprisingly moved me in a way I didn't expect. This is in great part due to the Oscar-worthy performance by Will Smith. Set in the early 90s, the film tells the true story of tennis superstars Venus and Serena Williams and how their father, Richard Williams, guided them to their success. The history of the girls is a real Cinderella story as they were underprivileged and entered into a predominantly white sport. Tennis takes expert instruction. It takes families with unlimited financial resources. It's like asking somebody to believe that you got the next two Mozarts in your house. I know what a lot of you are thinking. Here we go, another formulaic sports biopic. But King Richard breaks the mold. There's a lot to learn from this film. Though it's about the Williams sisters' journey to greatness, it's also a character study on a flawed man. Richard is overbearing, selfish, and hard-headed but he's also humble, kind, and a loving father. Yes, he wants his daughters to go to Wimbledon, but his first priority for them is to do well in school and enjoy being kids. He also teaches them the importance of good sportsmanship and never forgetting where you came from. I can't rave enough about all the performances in this film. Anjanou Ellis and John Barenthal each stand out as memorable supporting actors. Sinai Sidney and Demi Singleton are naturals who light up the screen with their charisma. And Will Smith gives the performance of the year, playing Richard with so much heart and emotion through just a simple look. The Best Actor Award will be Smith's to lose. Richard, I'm impressed. I think you might just have the next Michael Jordan. Oh no, brother man. I got me the next two. Let me ask you both something. What do you want out of this? I know what your dad wants, but what about you? Well, I want to win Wimbledon as many times as anyone's ever won it. You think you can do that? Every American player got good following this path. We're going to do this a different way. 
You pulled him out of juniors. Now you pull him out of practice. You do it constantly. I'm trying to look out for my kids. You're looking out for yourself. Even with its long runtime, director Ronaldo Marcus Green and writer Zach Balin managed to make a well shot, fast moving story with exciting tennis sequences and powerful dialogue. Venus and Serena were an inspiration for every young black girl and gave hope to anyone who felt they couldn't achieve success because of their background. King Richard is the story we didn't know we needed. It's a beautiful, feel good film everyone can and should watch. But what if she do? Remember who you are, remember where you came from. I have never been more proud in my whole life. You gonna show them how dangerous you are?